Good morning ladies and gents, or afternoon, whatever it is where you are. This is Glenn once again here with another road rage video. In this video, we are going to be looking at how to time your double unders to perfection using that clock face method. That you all loved and adored. Well, not all of you, but at least some of you. One of you was PJ Ma. Forgive me if I've got your name incorrect there, but they asked for a follow-up video from the previous clock face method in which we looked at the general idea. And so in this video, we're gonna look at double unders. And to give it a little bit of a twist, we're gonna look at double unders forwards, and we're gonna look at backwards double unders also. Using the clock face method on each to see how it can be applied for you to improve your timing to expert levels. So, firstly, a recap. So the clock face method, a quick recap. You're imagining that the rotation of the rope the path that the rope takes as it's rotating around the body is like the hands of a clock going around that circular frame. And so you're going to use the different times on the clock face, 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, etc. to time when you're going to jump. So your rope becomes the hands of the clock and as it goes round using those times, you're going to use that to time your jump. The timing of the jump differs. It's not the same for every technique, of course it's not. We'll be going into this in more detail, but for this video, we're just gonna be looking at double unders. In, a, in the comparison between the double under forward and the double under backwards is that you do the jump when the rope is pretty much at the same point but just depending on whether you're going forwards or backwards it's a flip so when you're going forwards you're going to jump when the clock hand is on five when you're doing the double unders backwards you're going to jump when the clock hand is at seven the clock is then going backwards because it's a counterclockwise reverse rotation so why is this? The really good thing about using this clock face method is that you can apply it depending on the technique you're doing. So the double under is a technique that requires you to rotate the rope twice as you jump once, okay? So one really good strategy for this is to get as much air time as possible to allow you to get those two rotations in comfortably so you're not having to rush them. So what's a good way to do this? You can do this by getting your first rotation of the rope in as late as possible. If you get that first rotation in too early, let's say for example, you start your jump when the rope is at three o'clock. So what you notice there is, when I tried to start my double under, when the rope was at three o'clock, I struggled to get the rhythm. When I landed, I was in a hurry to get that rope around again. So from three to six, all that time of the rope's travel is wasted. I 
much better strategies for you to jump when your rope is at five because then you've used minimal time in between your rotation coming under the feet and your jump. You've just left the ground and you've already got that first rotation in. You've got all that air time for the rope to come around again and then for you to land comfortably and without fuss. So try to sneak your rotation under the feet as late as is possible. Now, things get a bit tricky when we're doing backwards double unders. When we're doing counterclockwise rotations, we can't see the rope. The rope goes out of our peripheral vision and goes over the back of our head. So we have to get a real feel for it. For this reason, it's really important to be comfortable doing your double unders regularly before you transition to doing them backwards. Be able to control your double under and then you can feel when is the right time to jump, whether you're doing it forward or whether you're doing it backwards. Remember you want to get a good feel for doing the rotations forwards and then you'll be able to do the rotations backwards without having to see the rope in your peripheral vision, you get a feel for it. And that's about it. I'm hoping this video has given you a deep understanding of the clock face method. I'm really glad that a lot of you took well to it and it was able to help you guys out. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, do not simply just click off the video and go about your day like nothing's happened. That will hurt my feelings a lot. I'd much prefer it if you hit the like button, if you subscribed, if you're not already subscribed, so that you see more of these videos and click that notification bell. YouTube's a bit funny nowadays. Sometimes you can subscribe, but if you haven't clicked that notification bell, you're not gonna be notified about the videos. And if you want to see them, you'll need to do that. Once again, I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to check out this video. Until next time, all the best with your training and stay raging. You must subscribe. If you don't, we have no videos. <laughs> subscribe to this video once again. Subscribe. That's it. Thank you. And subscribe for all the videos that we watch. If it's finished, we get more videos coming on. Yep. So subscribe to all of the videos that we watched. You must subscribe. Press the press button and then you will see all the different kind of buttons you want to press. You can press which one is your favorite one. Then you can choose which one is your favorite one. You have to learn and you have to train so you can get big. Yeah. Subscribe. <laughs>